In this episode of How To Metrology, we're going to discuss installing a probe rack on a Zeiss coordinate measuring machine. Specifically, the Zeiss probe rack for active probe heads, such as this active gold head from Zeiss. To do this, you're going to need a few things. First, you'll need a tool rack. You'll need a couple of probe bays. You'll need an adapter plate with a master probe. The master probe has a small red dot on it. The adapter plate has a red paint on the bottom. And for mounting hardware, it's pretty simple. Bolts. So to begin installing your rack, you're going to have the probe pointing toward the rear, mounted first. This probe is used to locate the aluminum rack. The aluminum rack is oftentimes outside the measuring envelope of the measuring machine. You'll use your master probe to locate the individual tool bays once the rack is squared. Using the wrench and the bolt hardware, mount the tool rack to the granite table as square as you can. From there, we'll use the probe that points in the y-axis direction to square the rack. The next step, begin a new measurement plan, sometimes called a program. Do not set up a base alignment or clearance planes. When you set up a tool rack, the tool rack is located based on machine coordinates. For the stylus system, make sure the stylus system you created that points towards the back of the machine is active. For the squaring process, we're going to take two points. The first point on the left side of the tool rack, the second point on the right side of the tool rack. Those two points will be compared for their wide distance. The two points you just took, choose simple distance characteristic. Make sure the actual distance in the y direction is 0 0.04 millimeters or smaller. If the distance is greater than 0 0.04 millimeters, loosen the hardware and adjust the probe rack to bring it closer. Then repeat the steps of taking new points on the left and right side and comparing them with the simple distance characteristic until you're at 0 0.04 millimeters or smaller. Once your tool rack is square within 0 0.04 millimeters, it's time to determine the length of your master probe. Using the master adapter plate and the master probe, you're going to probe the edge of a tool bay with the adapter plate on the outer edge of the adapter plate and then with the ball itself. Probe the edge of the tool bay with the outer edge of the adapter plate. Then probe the edge of the tool bay with the sphere. If you need to add a new stylus tool bay or system holder, go to CNC Stylus System Change. Click the drop down by Edit. Choose Add Stylus System Holder. Select MT for the holder type. Enter a name for the new holder. Click OK. For each new holder, repeat this process. Left mouse click on the holder you would like to align. If it's been aligned before, it will turn green. If it's new or it's never been aligned before, it will turn orange. Go to Change Your Dropdown and click Define Holder Location. A window will appear to overwrite the stylus system holder. The window will not appear if the holder has never been aligned or is new. Click OK. Position the master probe over the tool bay dimple approximately 5 millimeters. You'll click OK at this point. The probe will then, in a CNC mode, self-center into the socket and then retract. You can repeat this process for additional vast holders until you've aligned all of your tool bays. So that wraps up our episode on how to install a Zeiss active probe head tool rack. If you have any needs in the way of hardware accessories, please check out our website. In the meantime, keep watching our videos.